Good afternoon, peoples. Uh, Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Just been kind of hanging out. Gonna go fishing a little later. But poor peanut potamus. Poor peanut potamus. He, uh, you guys could probably see that in, in that. My dad tried to cut one of his nails. And now it looks like a murder scene on the carpet. That is not good, peanut potamus. <laughs> Should probably put you outside or something. I don't know. Body boy. <laughs> What's up? So I'm at Walmart. I realized that I'm going night fishing. I need a light. Cause you know, if I catch if I catch like a three foot catfish or something, I don't wanna miss that on camera. So, so I got I'm gonna get this thing. It's like a headlamp. It straps around your head. So yeah, in case I catch any big ass fish, you guys will see it. Hopefully we do. I'm going with my friend Kenny, and he's like a really good fisherman. He has like 20 fishing poles, and like, he's really into it, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna catch some fish. It's gonna be fun. What's up, what's up? Here at the lake, but uh, I don't think my buddy's here yet. I called him and he didn't answer, so I'm just gonna go walk around the lake. And Ooh, there's a big bird in this guy. You probably can't see it because of the sun. <laughs> I'm just gonna go walk around the lake and show you guys the lake before it gets dark. It's a pretty nice place. This is a uh, Irvine Lake, in case anybody was wondering. Hey, I freaking fail. I went to the wrong lake. I swore he told me to go to Irvine Lake, that we were going to Irvine Lake, but I guess we're going to this other lake, uh, Santa Ana River Lakes. So I guess this will be a little tour of the fishing lakes in Orange County today or something. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna head down there. It's another like 20 minutes or so from here back towards my house though, so. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> So this is the lake I was supposed to come to the first time. Santa Ana River Lakes. It's pretty big, but it's more man-made looking than the other one. The other one's probably man-made also, but this one's a little less natural. The nice part about it is like, you just park your car right next to the water. So you have all your stuff there ready. Birds, birds move, birds, birds move, 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 move. Oh my God, really? You're that dumb? <laughs> Go left. Go left. Got the pole all set up. Got some mackerel on the bait. And hook. Some blood blood sauce. <laughs> Hopefully we catch a fish. Big ass one. Got enough poles in the water. Should catch something. Alright, so here's a attempt number two. My bait came off the hook the first time. We're using mackerel special sauce. It's quite stinky. Um, let me check the flavor for you. I don't want to touch this thing. <laughs> it's, it's a teriyaki honey glaze. Mm. So if we don't catch anything, you could always have some teriyaki honey glaze mackerels. That's my pole down there. On that boy, pool. Kenny boy. <laughs> That's the fisherman right there, the professional fisherman. Many years of experience under his belt. <laughs> this is a uh, friends over there and their family. What up? I'm back home. Look what I caught. Taco Bell grilled stuffed burrito. <laughs> yeah, out of all of us, there was like nine poles in the water. I didn't even get one bite. So it was a little discouraging today, but you know, that's how it goes when you're fishing. Or at least when you're fishing with me and my friends, cause yeah, or my family. I never really catch a whole lot, but it's always a good time. Uh, comment question of the day. 
what's the biggest fish you've ever caught? For me, it was with my buddy Kenny, and uh, we caught, or I caught, um, it was about a two foot um, catfish. It was like super skinny though, it was like malnutrition. <laughs> malnourished it was malnourished but it was like a really skinny catfish and I don't know but it was the biggest one I've ever caught see you guys and gals tomorrow peace